Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go over all of the reasons that you should not buy the KKW, KKW, Kim Kardashian West Beauty. What's it called? Beauty? Is it KKW Beauty? I have to look this up actually, hold on. KKW Beauty Contour and Highlighting Kit. I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't buy it. When I first saw that, well, first of all, when I first saw that she was launching a cosmetic line, I was like, okay, seriously, with like everything else, with Kylie Cosmetics and all that stuff. But I was excited, I was excited because especially since she was posting all these photos with Mario and I just absolutely love Mario, he's amazing. And he just like, oh, when he does her under eye, like I'm just, just sit there like in awe. So he's an incredible makeup artist and I love their relationship and whatever. So I was excited. And then I saw the products come out, the photos come out and I just kind of wasn't really into it. I don't know, I just, I, I don't know. It didn't grab me, it didn't grab me like I thought it would. Um, so I did not buy them the first launch and then it wasn't until I started seeing, let's see, like I saw Carly Bible use it, um, in her video and then I watched the video with Jaclyn Hill and Kim do their makeup and use it and I thought like, this is interesting, I don't know, maybe I want to give it a try. So I decided to buy the light kit. So it comes with a matte highlighter and a shimmer highlighter, they are sticks, uh, and then it comes with two contour shades. I think one of them was a little bit warmer and one was a little bit cooler. So I think it's supposed to be like a contour and a bronze sort of situation. <sighs> the bag, like it comes in a bag. It doesn't come in like a box or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, it's in a bag. Uh, Pat McGrath has her products in a bag, but it's not, it's not like a trash bag. <laughs> this kind of feels like a trash bag. And um, Pat McGrath's comes in like a thicker sort of vinyl. It's holographic and it's filled with sequins. So like, if you're gonna do a bag, sequins you know what i mean i mean i like the color the color scheme i don't know how well you can see that because of my lighting but i like the color scheme i like the nudes and everything like that i think that's pretty um and then it came with like a little card just a little note from kim saying blah 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 mix and match depending on blah 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 natural daytime look or a more dramatic evening look blah 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 and then it has like a how-to on the back so it has like prep contour matte highlight and shimmer highlight so it tells you how to use each product um First of all, when I first opened it up, I thought, wow, these are incredibly tiny. I didn't realize, like I, I, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but when I was watching them use it in like the Jacqueline Kim video and Carly Bible use it, it just didn't seem that small. I heard a couple people complain like on social media saying that they were very, very tiny. It's extremely small. Like this is my head for size comparison. Uh, let me, here's a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The same size practically. It's thinner than that. Uh, but then the real disappointment came when I opened it. I opened this one up and it immediately broke. It immediately fell out, which is fantastic. Uh, and then I tried to put it back and it kind of just crumpled on me. So yeah, you'll see when I talk about this in the video, cause I did use it today on camera. It was very difficult to work with. So I just kind of like shoved it back in there to try and use it. But that is literally like, here, I'll show you one of the other ends. That's literally all the product that it comes with. So this is the highlight, this one's fine. Same size, same size, same size as my fake ass pinky nail. I was extremely disappointed when I saw this. That is insultingly small. When I further examined it, you can see it's tapered at the bottom, uh, the way that it's placed in the component. So if you just roll it up a little bit too much and then try and apply like any pressure, it's gonna fall off like the matte highlight did for me. Um, and I've seen multiple people on, on Twitter and Instagram posting photos of them broken. So that's irritating. Now I've literally used this twice. I used it twice. Uh, and it's already like, I, don't, I feel like it's gonna go down so much. So this is the cooler contour shade this is of the light kit. And then this is the warmer contour shade or bronze, however you wanna look at it. So it's a little bit warmer in shade. Um, the initial shape is kind of nice, especially when it comes to like contouring your nose or something like that. Like you can be very precise uh, and I'll give you swatches of them. Oh. Okay, and this literally just, it just, all right, well, this just broke while I was swatching it. So it just popped right out. So I am uh, less inclined to say any of the positive things that I had about this. So that was the, I'm definitely throwing this away after this uh, video, by the way. That was the bronze shade, I guess. And then the contour shade. I'll try to swatch that. It's gonna be really thick though. And then this is the shimmer highlight. 
All right, so we've got the bronze shade right here, which just broke as I was swatching it. The contour shade, I'm assuming, uh, the matte highlight, and then the shimmer highlight. The colors do look nice. Uh, I will say that I actually do like the difference between the, the bronze and the contour, uh, especially for fair skin. And it's not too, too warm or too red or too orange or anything like that. It's not like necessarily as olive as I would like it, but it definitely is nice. I am tan right now. And I think that it worked. It might've been a little bit too light for me now, but it was definitely too warm when I was very fair. So if you're very, very fair, I would watch out. It would definitely, even the contour shade would be a little bit too warm. So you might wanna use it as more of a bronzer and not a contour if you were gonna get it, but I don't recommend it. Um, and then the hi matte highlight was, uh, it's kind of peachy, I guess. Maybe you could call it a little more neutral. Um, it's definitely not warm or cool in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely more peachy than I like when I'm highlighting those areas of my face. It drew on fairly well. I mean, I used it when it was already broken, so it was kind of difficult for me to tell. Well, I'll, and I'll get to the blending in a minute. Um, but the formula seemed okay, it is very matte. The contour and bronze shade just kind of glide onto the skin. They are very natural looking. Um, it's kind of sheer a little bit. Like in the video with Kim and Jacqueline, I saw Kim was really piling it on, like really drawing it on. Um, and you can do that and it doesn't end up looking like very intense. But again, it's a really small amount of product. So I kind of don't like that because I feel like it can go through it really fast. And then the uh, shimmer highlight is quite nice. It's uh, kind of a pale gold. So that's pretty, it would work for medium to light skin in my opinion. Um, it's very subtle. It's, it's a very natural looking highlight. It's not going to be like, boom. Um, intense and I do think that the point of these products were to be a little bit more on the natural side Once I got past how tiny everything was and how disappointed I was in that the shape of everything I'm gonna use this as a an example because everything else broke but uh, The shape of it is quite nice for doing like a nose contour or even defining around your eyes in the Jacqueline Kim video I saw her use it around her eyes and I did that today. I mean, I have eyeshadow on now, but you'll see in the video um, It did work quite nicely to define my crease um, and doing my nose contour, that was pretty nice. So I think if they were going to be marketed as that sort of thing, like as an eye and nose contour, it would make way more sense. The size and the amount of product, I just think that it's absolutely ridiculous to market this as a face product. It's tiny, like it is not going to last. I mean, you use it maybe a few weeks, maybe a few weeks and it's gone. That's ridiculous. This whole kit was $48. Let me talk about the brush, which again is so tiny. So this has a sponge on this end, uh, which I heard Kim say is removable, but I don't know how to take it out. I assume it'll rip. Maybe I'll just try it because screw it, who cares? Uh, and then the brush, actually when I first saw this brush, that was, I was very underwhelmed. It did blend out pretty well when I was using it today. I was a little, I was kind of surprised because I didn't think I was gonna like it at all because it is very, it's flat and it's very dense. So I just thought that is gonna pull my foundation. It's not going to give me like, it's not gonna give a seamless blend. Um, it did blend out very nicely, but I will say that if you are someone who gets acne or you need to cover up a lot of blemishes in these areas, like around your cheeks or wherever you're gonna be contouring, this is just gonna pull your foundation right off. So it's gonna pull off that coverage. So if you have beautiful skin, like Kim, and you're going in and just kind of like adding a nice subtle contour, then yeah, it's gonna work fine. Um, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for anything else. Uh, hated the sponge, hated the sponge. I thought the sponge was terrible. I spritzed it with Fix Plus. And um, this, it's very, very hard, like it's very dense. So I tried doing the, uh, blending out the highlight with that and I just gave up. I tried and I tried and I just gave up. I ended up using my beauty blender. So I do not like the sponge at all. Uh, let me see if I can take it out. Oh, all right. That's not how you're supposed to remove it. How are you supposed to remove it? See, it should come with directions if, you know, if it's removable. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. I'm assuming you're supposed to pull this plastic thing out. Yeah, that, I, okay. Yeah, so I just am overall extremely disappointed in it in general. I think it's just, uh, I just think it's a really bad product. I'm, I want, I wanted to like this so badly. I wanted to like it so badly. Cause I just thought like, oh, this is so cool. They're coming, like they created their own brush thing, like whatever the dual end, whatever. That's so cool, you know? And for, for uh, travel and everything, it would be great. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I'm really disappointed in it. It's terrible quality. It feels cheap. You know, you could 
uh, they do this with lipsticks all the time. You can put a weight in it to make it feel like more luxurious and they didn't even do that. It's just like a plastic. I'm very, 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 no, I'm not even underwhelmed. I'm extremely disappointed. I don't do, I haven't done a video like this before, but I just felt so duped by this and I felt I needed to share it. Do not purchase this. Don't make that mistake. I think it's really bad. Now, that being said, I think the design of everything is kind of interesting. And I think that if she does, because of course this is going to happen, like when you launch your first item, people are, aren't gonna like it. I mean, they definitely could have done way better. They could have done a million times better. I just, I personally, I think this, this entire thing was just insulting to the regular consumer. But that doesn't mean that she won't revamp everything and come out with better stuff. It's nice that you, you're able to hear reviews online and hopefully these reviews, all the negativity, they'll hear it and they'll take it into consideration and change everything. I know this happened to Kylie. She got a lot of uh, shit for when she first launched her makeup stuff and she, she revamped everything. And personally, I love Kylie Cosmetics. I think all of the products are phenomenal. Hopefully this gets better because I was really excited about it. And I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing like what they come out with next or how they respond to it, how they adapt. But as of right now, don't buy this. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, let me know. I don't have strong feelings like this against products very often, but there have been a few in my lifetime that uh, have done me very wrong, and I would be happy to share that with you if you want to see those review video videos. <laughs> and I'd be happy to share that with you if you'd like to see those videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of that stuff is listed down below. The people, people on Snapchat and Insta Story definitely heard this review first. The, you guys saw when it first broke. I was not happy about it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments down below. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I kind of look Amish. I'm having a really bad hair day today, so that is why I'm wearing the hat right now, and it is a horrible idea because it's extremely hot in here right now with all these lights. I can feel a hair on my cheek. Hold on.